if you're new to my channel thank you for stopping by please do not forget to subscribe before you go and if you are a loyal subscriber hey girl it's nice to see you again this video is all about my 16 year infertility journey and i will get into everything um from the beginning of my relationship with my husband to the moment today because yes today i am finally finally pregnant i am about 30 weeks pregnant and i couldn't be more excited so i'm going to take you guys from everything from how it started to how we got here um and i really also just wanted to make this video to inspire other women out there that are having difficulty conceiving to keep going you know there is that light at the end of the tunnel as corny as it sounds and just know that what is for you is for you and god will always provide he don't make mistakes and just to keep trying where do i start um so this is i i did or my husband and i did conceive this baby naturally no ivf or anything like that didn't want to take that route because honestly <laughs> my husband was too scared of having like several babies at once versus one um which i'm totally okay with but you know he wasn't ready for that and i honestly probably wouldn't be ready for that either if it came down to it so yes um, my pregnancy now is natural um my husband and i have been together for about 16 and a half years now We've known each other in high school. I met him when I was 15, he was 17. We also dated back in high school for a few months. Um, he was my everything, like everything, everything, like everything, <laughs> if you get that. So that happened back then. Um, my senior year of high school, I ended up moving a few hours north to live with my aunt. And that, of course, you know because of that and other things benny and i my husband benny and i we broke up at the time and i lived with my aunt for about three years during that three-year period i met my daughter's father yes i do have a daughter as well she's now 18. yes there's going to be a huge gap between my baby now and my daughter but it is what it is so i met my daughter's father while i moved up there I became pregnant and that was that so that didn't work out with him I ended up moving back down to my hometown to live with my mom and I would say about four months or during this whole time this whole three-year period that Benny and I didn't see each other didn't contact each other you know we didn't really end on a great note again this was a high school relationship so what really ends on a great note in high school right so during that whole three-year period i always still did think about him what is he doing what's he up to did he you know go to college what does he do what does he look like especially and come to find out he was wondering the same about me as we were away he would even um he even reached out to one of my friends to try to get my number of course a loyal friend did not give the boy my number um and it just is what it is but according to my husband he thought about me literally as much as i thought about him so i moved back down here after my daughter's father and i did not work out did not work out and i would say about four months later of me moving back down here benny and i ran into each other in the mall mind you this is we hadn't seen each other in three years and i now have a two-year-old so uh, actually an almost two-year-old so um my best friend and i were actually in the middle of a conversation about benny and we're walking this way in the mall and we're walking this way and benny and his brother are walking the opposite way and i saw him and i was like i i must have spoke him into existence it was the weirdest thing and my friend michelle she's having me on my arm she's like girl there he is there he is that's crazy i'm like yeah shit, okay don't make it obvious right you know the games teenagers play you gotta play it cool or whatever so i was like girl don't tap me don't make it obvious let's just keep walking because i surely was not gonna go say anything to him right so luckily 
my now brother-in-law forced Benny to turn around and talk to me. According to Benny, he swear that he had seen a ghost, like he couldn't believe it was actually me because he thought about me often too. Um, so his brother made him make this big old U-turn to come around and come talk to me. And as he's making this U-turn, because I said we were going opposite ways, as he's making this U-turn, my friend Michelle is tapping me and she's looking back. She's like, girl, he's coming, he's coming. I'm like, girl, stop it. <laughs> You're making it so obvious, right? So finally he catches up to us. We get to talking or whatever. And we pretty much picked up where we left off in high school except now i have an almost two-year-old daughter i know that was very different and unexpected for him um but you know what god has for you is for you so and literally this was literally god bringing us together i swear to god because like i said michelle and i my best friend and i were literally in a conversation about him and i wonder what he looks like what he's doing blah 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 and seconds later he just appears and it's like what <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, to think I wasn't even going to say anything. So thank you, brother-in-law, for making him turn around and talk to me because he was too shy to talk to me and I surely wasn't going to go around and talk to him. So that happened, right? So we, like I said, we picked up where we left off and that was now 16 and a half years ago that we ran into each other again and we just continued on with our relationship. Um... We've been together 16 and a half years. We got engaged after, or he, he proposed to me after four years. And then we got married all the way, not until 2020. And that was literally all me. So the way I saw it was, I'm getting nervous, you guys, I'm like sweating. So the way I saw things was, marriage was not like really that important to me. I'm like, we, live like we're married we do things like we're married what difference does this piece of paper make it's not like we have a bunch of assets right now <laughs> we're like super young like i just didn't see the point i'm like you're happy i'm happy we're together that's all that matters we have that understanding and he's just like you know okay well whenever you're ready i'm ready i propose to you so when you want to get married we'll get married so finally in 2020 all the way in 2020 mind you we got back together in 2006 2020 i'm like you know what let's just let's let's just get married why not like if I don't do it now like I'm never gonna do it and all of a sudden it's more important to me and I also made the decision to get married because in 2019 is when I realized like all right we're approaching our late 30s um my eggs is getting dry and dusty and we need to do something about having children because Benny um does not have any children and I have my own and I need the world the world deserves another little Benny this is how much I love my husband he's a great man and the world needs more little hymns running around okay so uh 2019 we decided we started um trying to conceive in 2020 I finally said let's just go to court and get married because of COVID and everything we didn't have a ceremony we literally just went to our local courthouse my mom was our witness we said our little vows we got married so um yeah and in 2019 I just had this epiphany like all right it's time to start having children especially because one of my sometimes it takes other people to paint a picture for you that you cannot see so my coworker put it into perspective he's like look once you get pregnant um you're 30 something now you're gonna be pregnant for another nine months and it, who's to say it's gonna happen for you right away so y'all should probably start trying now like you know what you're actually right like i never actually sat down and thought about it so the reason i say i've been infertile for the last 16 years is because once i got pregnant my doctor was like okay what have you guys done different this whole time or like what was your birth what was your birth control method what, what did you take birth control I'm like no I wasn't on birth control she's like okay well what did you do you just used the pull out method I'm like yeah I mean we knew we wanted to be together and we were going to be together so yes we just used the pull out method and she's like well that's not very effective a lot of women get pregnant that way so basically you've been trying your whole relationship to get pregnant um 
and like I said, we've been together 16 and a half years. So this whole entire time, no pregnancy, right? Um, in 2019, when we decided to start getting pregnant and I had seen after a few months that I wasn't, I went and I got an HCG test. All my levels were good. My eggs were good. Everything was good. Um, but at the time, Benny had a job that um, had him outdoors a lot and my doctor was saying that a lot of men that work jobs in the heat or outside it is very hard for them to conceive because that has a negative effect on their sperm so that's basically what the deal was why we were having such a hard time conceiving so like i said in 2019 we actually started trying trying um, last year, 2021, we finally did get pregnant for the first time. Like my period was late and I was like, okay, well I should take a test. I took a test. I was pregnant. This was right before Thanksgiving last year. Hi guys. It has been a while and I don't even know where to begin, honestly. Um, you may or may not know but um excuse my excuse my face I just got out the shower and did my whole skincare and you know uh self-care routine this is so weird <laughs> I feel like I haven't been on camera in forever um I haven't picked up the camera in forever so um some of you may or may not know I have talked about it before in a couple of previous videos but Benny and I have been trying to conceive for about two years now today is November 12th it is Benny's birthday uh, <laughs> I am a few days late with my period and this almost never happens. The last time I was late, I was late by like three, four days, but it's been about a week, like a little over a week. Um, again, we've been trying to conceive for about two years now, so I can't believe I'm, I've been documenting our journey. Now, I haven't gone through the process of IVF or anything like that because I really feel like like my body could do it naturally, like I did with Asia. Granted, I am much older now than I was when I had Asia. And yeah, so I decided to buy a pregnancy test earlier today and see if all of our dreams come true. <laughs> uh, it's, this is so surreal. Like, I have a good feeling. Like I was telling him earlier today, I was like, it would be perfect if we take this test today, we find out that we're pregnant on your birthday. This could be the best gift I could ever give you from today and all of life and beyond. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. Um, and I was literally just like rubbing my stomach as if there was a baby in there already. Like I just had a, I don't know, like a strong feeling came over me. Like, okay, like I'm pregnant. I'm never late with my period like ever 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 <sighs> all right i can't believe i'm about to do this i'm about to pee on a stick ah! all right so the test that i decided to go with was a clear blue because when i got pregnant with asia it was very accurate <laughs> like literally within seconds it was like girl you pregnant so um i'm about to pee on a stick y'all and Let's see what happens. Lord knows we've been praying every freaking night that, you know, 
that it would happen, that I'd be pregnant, and I just thought it would be so easy, like, okay, well, now I wanna have a baby, so let's get pregnant. And here we are two years later, still not pregnant, and I never, ever, ever, ever thought that it would happen to me like this because feel like back then you could have whispered in my ear and I'd be pregnant um, and here we are two years later still no baby so and Lord knows I've had baby fever for the longest time okay okay I'm gonna stop talking I really thought I had a lot more pee than that cover it lay it flat on the counter for one to three minutes You can see it but it's very faint and this line in the box um, says I'm pregnant <laughs> like I don't know <laughs> I, I don't even know how to react right now like I thought I oh my after two years and I know I know that like a lot of women like have tried to conceive for so much longer than me and you know five six seven eight ten years and for us it seems like it's only two years but I mean everybody's situation is different and two years just it's felt like forever for us I guess I guess God said now is our time I'm like Honestly, don't even know how to feel right now. I don't. I don't know what. Like, I thought I would just fall to the floor and cry hysterical the day that I found out that I was finally pregnant. But I don't know how to feel right now. Like, so much is racing through my mind, and I can't believe that. I can't believe that it's finally here. I told you guys I was. <laughs> I think I just willed it into existence. I was literally, like I said, rubbing my stomach earlier today, just with a strong conviction that, yes, this time I'm pregnant. My period's lover, never late. Like, this time has to be it, because we literally haven't even had this so much as a scare these past two years. again um, to start another journey into motherhood and um, I just 
am really blessed that he chose me and chose us to bring a, another child into this world. Um, I don't know if you guys know or not, but um, this, God willing, this will be Benny's first child. Asia is my um, daughter from previous relationship and Benny does not have any children of his own and I felt like this day was not coming anytime soon and now that I can tell him that he's gonna be a father and I'm so happy that I can tell him that he's gonna be a father I'm like scared at the same time like I know that I know that God doesn't put more on us than we can bear, more than we can handle, and I know I'm not a first time mom, I'm a second time mom, but my eldest, um, Asia, is about to be 18 in like two months, so starting all over again is going to be interesting. I am such a different woman than I was when I had Asia. Uh, it's interesting to see where this journey will take us. Um, I guess I better get Benny, huh? And let him know the good news. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Babe. Come here. Speechless. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. You're really going to be. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm looking at this thing and I'm like, this thing really does get pregnant. And. Then I just started praying, and then when I get to praying, I get to cry. <laughs> and then I was like, "You really are about to be a whole father." For the second time? No, no. Your own blood child. You're. You're so. And how do you make a joke out of something so serious? <laughs> So I figured, you know, we're hosting Thanksgiving at our house with all our family. This would be the perfect time to announce that we're expecting. So Thanksgiving 2021 comes. Um, we had two pregnancy tests. We gave one we, and we wrapped them up like gifts. We gave one to my mother-in-law and one to my mom. And once they opened it, they saw that they were going to be grandmas again. And we included like a little note and everything. It was so cute. Um, at that time I was only two months pregnant and I think I was just so excited because we had been trying. I was so excited that I was pregnant that I kind of jumped the gun and maybe jinxed it and told my family too early. Um, so Thanksgiving happened, we announced we're pregnant, everybody's happy and crying and it's just a great moment. Um, my first ultrasound wasn't until the following week. So in between Thanksgiving, our Thanksgiving announcement and the ultrasound, um, I went pee one night and I literally peed just a bucket of blood, like bright red blood and a blood clot that must have been like 
this big. Um, of course, as any expecting mother would, I took that as a very negative sign and I had a feeling it was a miscarriage, but I also still had a shred of hope that it wasn't. So after I passed that clot and that blood, two days later was our ultrasound. Once the ultrasound, I told the sonographer what had happened. She's like, okay, well, I mean, it sounds like a miscarriage, but it doesn't mean that it was. So let's do a vaginal ultrasound since it's more accurate and see if we can get a heartbeat. And unfortunately, when we got the ultrasound, there was no heartbeat and it was confirmed that I did have a miscarriage. So at that point, um, we had been trying, like actually trying for three years um, to get pregnant. Uh, and once it didn't happen, I just figured like, I don't know, maybe it's something wrong with me. Maybe it's just not meant to be, but I knew that I wanted my husband to have an actual biological child although he treats my daughter Asia as his own he's raised her with me since she was two um, he he needs a biological child and I want to give that to him that is the best thing that I could ever give to him I'm gonna cry y'all so that miscarriage happened and uh, like I said, he's not a fan of IVF or doing any of that science, scientific stuff. Um, I'm not against it, but I'm like, you know what, let's still continue to try naturally because we've only actually been trying for three years. So um, fast forwarding, we said, we're just gonna try, we're gonna try naturally. And if it's for us, it's for us. If God wants us to be parents again, and he wants you to have your own child, then it will be. Um, this year, I just, I don't wanna leave out anything. This year, 2022, June 5th, I decided to take a pregnancy test because my period was about two weeks late. And I'm like, you know, my period's really never late. It's usually like clockwork, but sometimes I know that it can just change dates and change course. But I was like, let me just take a pregnancy test to be sure. Plus my sister was like, girl, you should probably take one. You never know. So June 5th, I took a pregnancy test. It came out positive. Um, I took two more tests each day following that. Um, so I took three in all and all three said pregnant and this time it almost felt like, like unbelievable. Like, okay, am I really, is it going to stick this time? Like, like I could believe it, but I couldn't believe it. And I didn't want to get my hopes up again. So I actually didn't end up scheduling an appointment with a doctor until I was like maybe four months. And I know I probably shouldn't have waited that long, but again, in my mind, I was just like, is it really gonna happen this time? Like, I don't, I didn't, I didn't wanna get my hopes up too high. So, um, and I, I surely didn't want to tell my family too early on. I didn't want to tell them till after I had my first ultrasound and we can see and hear the baby and everything. I had my ultrasound, we heard the heartbeat and I'll insert that clip right here when we got to hear the baby's heartbeat for the first time. Strong. Yeah. 140. Every time we hear a whoosh, it's like moving around. Oh my wow. gosh. That's why I'm like doing small <laughs> movements to find it.
Um, so it was very emotional for me because it was like, all right, this time it is really happening. There's really a baby forming inside my stomach. There's a heartbeat. There's a little person in there this time for real. Um, and I just had like a good feeling about it this time. Like, okay, this one's, it's going to last this time. I'm already over four months in. Um... So this time, like I said, I, I waited a little while to tell my family I was pregnant. You know, I, I had to believe it was real. I had to hear the heartbeat. I had to see the baby. And I, Benny and I didn't want to know the gender. Like I wanted to do all the motherly things that I didn't get to do when I was pregnant with my daughter. I was like so young and naive. I didn't know about the gender reveals and the, the, the belly castings and maternity shoots. Like I didn't know about any of that when I was young. I was just like, okay, I'm pregnant and I need to have this baby and make sure that, you know, the baby is safe and in good health. That's all I thought about. I didn't think about none of that other fun stuff, baby moons and all that kind of stuff. I didn't even know baby moons were a thing, honestly, until like a couple years ago. Anyway, so once we got to hear the heartbeat, I think I told, we told our families that we were expecting around five months in this time. Right now, as of today, I, uh, what is today? Today is November 16, 2022. I am 30 weeks pregnant, home stretch. Um, I wanted to keep the gender a secret for as long as possible, especially like from Benny and I until we had our gender reveal. So every time I had an ultrasound or anytime I saw the doctors, they, were, they would always ask me, do you know, oh my God, I'm so sorry. They would always ask, you know, do you know the gender? Do you want to know the gender? I'm like, no, we're keeping it a secret until our gender reveal. So we, I'll, I'll insert a clip from our gender reveal party, and you'll get to see what we're having. Oh, Hold on. Yeah, where are you spraying oh this? Hold on. Oh, no. You gotta spray it. Oh, no. 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 You gotta do a countdown. No. You did that already. Wear your white dress. Come on. I was like, okay. Go ahead, get close. Okay, we gotta do a countdown. Do a countdown. Start from five. Ready? Five, five four, three, two, one. So as you saw, we're having a boy. Y'all don't know how long I have prayed for a boy. I have my girl and I needed my mama's boy, especially, I love my husband so much and I just needed like a little version of him in my life. And I've just, the relationship that him and his mom have, like I hope to have that with our son. Um, so I'm so excited and let me just show you guys what I look like now at 30 weeks. All right, guys, so this is what we are looking like at 30 weeks pregnant. Baby boy is tucked away in here nice and snug. Um, sometimes I still can't even believe that I'm pregnant again, um, but it's for real this time. And here he is. I know my belly is still kind of small for 30 weeks, huh? 
I be seeing stuff on TikTok and Instagram and women's bellies are like way out to here. And I'm like, please, Lord, <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that. So my belly is small, but baby is growing healthy. He's a normal size. Um, thank the Lord I don't get any morning sickness. I did not get any morning sickness with my daughter Asia, nor do I get it this time around pregnancy for me like I love being pregnant <laughs> uh, I feel great the only thing is my sciatica child boo if you if you know you know but literally every time now especially as I'm getting bigger that nerve be pinching but um no gestational diabetes this time I did have it with Asia um the only thing and she was like really like a low-lying baby usually girls are high but Asia was really low like on my bladder and my placenta all the time but baby boy is low too and he's on my bladder but boys are known to be low um like i said my glucose is good everything is good i'm healthy baby's healthy he is extremely active in every single ultrasound that we've gotten and i feel him moving all the time especially when it's time for me to go to bed it's like i you know have my maternity pillow and i'm getting comfortable and once i'm comfortable he's busy and they're getting comfortable as well but um so far so good with everything this is me at 30 weeks <laughs> i'm so excited you guys you guys have no idea um i'm not gonna say the name of the baby yet until our birth vlog and you guys get to meet him for the first time um but yeah i'm excited everybody's excited asia is happy to be a big sister again um because she does have other siblings on her dad's side um and this is my mommy's first grandson and she's so excited because she's wanted a little boy too this is my sister's first nephew he's like the first boy in our immediate family we have so many girls so the fact that i'm having a boy is unbelievable and i almost didn't think that i was capable of having a boy but here we are today 30 weeks with baby boy in here um i haven't gained that much weight which i thought was concerning but my doctor said it was normal Oh my god just looking at this thing is kind of crazy uh she said it was normal because the baby is of normal size and as long as he's of normal size everything is good so i still got 10 more weeks to go we'll see what happens the last few weeks because that's literally when i blew up with my daughter i gained 65 pounds with her and child i feel like the last two months made all the difference this is just so crazy to me you guys wow yeah, I, I wore the color blue to try to kind of give you guys a hint as to what I was having, but now you know. I almost forgot to include the clip of our first ultrasound, so I'll put it in right here. Oh my god, like, like, you can see everything. Oh, you stepped in on this one? Mm-hmm. This one helps his first baby, so really exciting. We've been trying for like the last three years, so. Miscarriage in December, so this is like a blessing. Are you ready? And um, I'm going to show you guys the pictures from our first ultrasound. Not, excuse me, I'm hungry. Um, not my last ultrasound because my mom deboed those pictures from me, but I do have pictures from the first ultrasound. As soon as I got the second ones, my mom was like, "Let me, can I, can I just have those?" I'm like, "All right, mom." So this is from the first ultrasound. He's in there. He's happy, he's healthy, he's growing. Here's another picture. It's so exciting, guys. Oh, yeah. Here's another one. You guys, when I first got this, I literally slept with this beside the bed as if he was there already. That is it for this video. I do just want to start closing out by saying if you are a struggling mom to be, please do not give up. As you can see, I'm finally pregnant here. Again, for the second time, um, 16 and a half years later, and it is possible. Like I said, I didn't go the route of IVF. We just wanted to continue to try naturally, but there are those um, methods out there for you to try to conceive 
and also there are a lot of babies that need adopt adopting if you just for some reason cannot um, but never give up because you never know when that moment could be and if you keep praying on it God will make it happen he don't make mistakes and he always provides um, I just decided I wanted to bring you guys on this journey with me because this is literally one of the happiest times in my life in a very long time and I am so thrilled and excited to just share it with the world um, uh, the baby shower is coming up within two weeks so I'll bring you guys along with me for that All right I think that is it for now please 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 share this video with anyone who is struggling to conceive I want them to know that it is possible even if it's been five years ten years twelve years like it's it's possible um, just and it, it's possible up until even much older than I am there are women in their there are women in their 40s 50s even 60s still having kids which is amazing in itself so don't give up and keep trying if it's really what you want um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed I hope you did and please chat with me in the comments below with any questions or anything that you might have I do love talking to you guys I'm really excited Benny's really excited. The whole family is really excited. Benny's first child. He's a lot of first everythings. Like there's, it's in my immediate family, it's always been girls. So the fact that I'm having a boy is almost unbelievable. I, like I said, I didn't even think I could produce a boy at this point. And I got what I've been praying for all these years, which is a mom's boy. Um, and I, I hope to be as close with him one day as Benny is with his mom. We speak like every single day. and. I want to be like that with him as well um, but yeah so until the next video get ready for a lot of pregnancy videos and routines and all that kind of stuff because they're coming <laughs> and um, just thank you guys for watching and I love you guys I'll talk to you guys soon bye